What's good YouTube? It's your boy Eric. Today is episode 2 on how to start a successful weight loss journey. Link in the description for all of the episodes. So today we're going to talk about how to set realistic weight loss goals. Setting a realistic weight loss goal. So you could go online and you could search anything, you know, my ideal weight or you know, BMI calculators. And there's a bunch of calculators out there to tell you your ideal weight. But what I will say to you is none of these calculators know you and know your body better than you do. So what you have to do is to set your own personal goals. To give myself as an example, a BMI calculator or ideal weight thing will tell me that my ideal weight is between 135 and 160 pounds. There's no way I could weigh that amount. No way. I have a big head. Probably my head alone is probably about 30 pounds. <laughs> so I know that, okay, that is not something that I'm going to shoot for. I know where I want to be. So I set my own personal goal. So I write, I, I write down my starting weight, I write down my ideal weight, and then I see how much weight I need to lose. If you, if you do the same thing, if you need to lose over 80 pounds, realistically, it's going to take you up to a year to lose over 80 pounds, being realistic. If you need to lose between 50 and 80 pounds, it could take you up to anywhere up to nine months to lose that kind of a weight. If you need to lose less than 50 pounds, it could take up to six months to lose that amount or, or a little bit more. So be realistic about it. The other portion of it now is once you've actually have, once, once you actually have the weight that you're looking to lose, now you want to break it down into smaller numbers. So now you want to say, okay, if, if, if I wanted to lose 40 pounds and I said, okay, I'm going to try to lose this 40 pounds in four months. Then I'm going to break that down into four equal sections. So now I'm going to say each month I want to lose 10 pounds. And I'm going to work hard for that goal. And the only thing I'm going to be thinking about is just losing that 10 pounds in that one month. Because thinking about the entire four months and the entire 40 pounds can be a little bit overwhelming at times. So break it down into a smaller number. You stay focused just on that, on that first initial goal and you work. Sooner or later, you're gonna be close to your goal or surpassing your goal. And once you've actually hit your, or you, once you're getting closer to your goal of, or you're hitting your goal, then you could reassess and say, you know what? Maybe, maybe losing 40 pounds wasn't right for me. Maybe I need to go back up 10 pounds. Or maybe I need to lose another 10 pounds or another 20 pounds. It is your personal goal. It's your body. You know what you want to look like. So that is my advice to you. Make this goal personal. Make this your personal weight loss journey so that you're, you're, you're dictating what you're going to do with your body, not some calculator, not someone else. So, so just to recap, yeah. The first thing is to go to, to write down why you need to lose the weight. Second thing is to write down your current weight, your goal weight, calculate how much weight you need to lose, and then break it down into a smaller section. Number three, now you're ready for a diet and exercise plan, which I will cover in episode three of this series. All right, please check the link in the description below to see all of the videos within this series. And please subscribe to the channel if you're liking these videos. There's definitely a lot more to come. Um, I appreciate you guys' support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces.